If you have a DJI drone using the DJI Fly app and you want to know exactly how to lock the exposure for Android and iOS, then do keep watching because I'm going to explain exactly how you do that. So let's get into it. If you are a professional movie maker or even a hobbyist, one of the most horrible things you can see when you are producing a video is an exposure shift. It looks completely out of place and downright ugly and ultimately it just doesn't look professional. Now any adopters of the DJI Fly app will know that there used to be a button on screen where you could simply set your EV compensation smack that button and then what will happen is you will see no shift whatsoever it was completely locked in but when dji launched their app version 1.4.0 for some bizarre reason they actually took it away meaning many of you didn't actually get the ability or know how to lock the exposure. So I'm going to have to split this up then into two different categories because firstly it's going to depend on what operating system you're using whether it's iOS or Android and then it's also going to depend on what drone you're flying. If you are an original DJI Mavic Mini owner sadly there is a slightly different workaround which we're going to have to use whereas of course if you have this controller which I imagine a great number of you will of course this function button you'll later see is going to come in really really handy okay. Now if you are using professional tools and you are setting your exposure manually so you might want to set your ISO manually and your shutter speed manually especially if you're wanting to achieve cinematic motion blur um, using ND filters for example and of course I have done a video using ND filters and how exactly why and when you do use them and you can check out that video and I'll leave a link in the video description of course in that scenario you will not need to lock the exposure because everything will be fixed this is more when you're using the EV compensation okay and you want to lock the exposure so let's talk about the way you do it on iOS then well on iOS you can do it two ways first of all what you can do is you can very simply tap an area on the screen and that will bring up a little box after you have tapped that screen what you do is you tap in the same place again and hold and then you will get that little locked icon okay and that means that exposure is locked exactly where it is so of course in this example on screen if we shift it from side to side you can see there is no exposure shift whatsoever the second way of doing it is using the DJI Fly app and this controller so if we look at this function button here all we need to do is go into the DJI Fly app make sure that this function button is assigned to the AE lock and unlock okay and in the real world example you can see that if we hold the drone up to the light and then move it away you can see that shifting but all I need to do is then press this function button once because that's what I've assigned it to and then try that again and there is absolutely no shifting so that of course is locked the only trouble with this is for some bizarre reason okay there is absolutely no indicator on your DJI fly app or device screen to say that it is actually locked it just is okay and it's a similar story when you come to Android so again the exact same thing with Android except when you try to tap the screen you can see nothing happens okay so you cannot actually tap the screen to set the exposure and lock it the same way as you did with iOS. With Android, we only have the ability to do it via this function button. So once again, we go into our settings and do exactly the same. We make sure that the function button is assigned to AE lock. This example here, you can see that it is clearly turned off. And then once we press the button and now it is turned on, you can see again that the exposure does not shift whatsoever okay now again same scenario really really frustrating the fact that even though that it is on and off there is absolutely no visual representation on screen however that's the good news over with sadly if you own the DJI Mavic Mini and you are using this controller you will be well aware that you get no function button on this okay now the iOS method if you are on iOS that of course still works by tapping the screen as I've already mentioned and locking it in unfortunately if you do have the Mavic Mini with this controller and you have an Android device there is absolutely no fix the only thing you can do in that scenario is actually revert back to an older version before DJI Fly 1.4.0 and that will of course give us that AE lock button back 
Now, if you are familiar with the channel, or even if you are not, I host all of the previous Android install files on my own personal Google Drive. So if any of you do actually have a problem with the DJI Fly app, you can always go back. The link for that, again, is in the video description. And of course, if you are wanting to go back to an older version, just make sure it's something before 1.4.0, and you should be able to get that to work and lock. This has caused a lot of confusion because many people, even myself included, okay, didn't believe that this function was actually working. And to this day, I will still claim that at the beginning, this wasn't working with the function button because I tried and tested it at the time when DJI launched this version, okay? Um, I could not get it, I tested it, I did a similar, a similar test to what I've just done in this video, um, and there was no sort of exposure lock whatsoever, but seemingly, it seems that it is actually here and working now, I just wasn't aware of it. So thank you to the uh, viewer, Richard, that did mention it and uh, let me know that it was indeed now working. So now you know. That is how you lock the exposure on iOS and Android, and of course covering a great number of different drones as well. Please do consider subscribing. I want to finish this year with a big surge in subscribers, so if you did find this video useful and you want to subscribe for more content, please do hit that button, and of course the bell notification to be notified for any future videos, because I would love you to be part of the community and watch all my future stuff. So so thank you very much for watching. Please do let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. I always love to hear from you guys. See you again soon.